Today I'm going to show you how to create the seamless looping effect inside of DaVinci Resolve using any PNG or image. Let's go! In your DaVinci Resolve project, you've got your clip that you want the image to appear behind and drag in your PNG image. I'm just going to use the DaVinci Resolve logo. And the first thing you're going to do is drag in a Fusion composition, put it on top of your video clip, then jump into Fusion. And the first thing we're going to do is find the PNG, drag it in and connect it to the media out. Under Templates, Edit and Effects, find the outer stroke and insert that. Adjust some settings here if you want. Now the next thing we want to do is let's add a transform node and add that in. Pull this logo to the one side, run right about there, right? Just after the outer stroke, we're going to add a duplicate node and then add that in. And then put the copies on four, pull the center out until we see all four of these copies, right? Between the transform and the duplicate, space them out evenly. All right. And then after the duplicate, we'll add another transform node and add that in, put the edges on mirror. The last thing we can now do is animate these logos. Selecting the second transform, put a keyframe on zero and then go to frame 80. We'll put another keyframe there and then let's pull it to the side or put the center on minus four, round right about there. So it loops four times. Open the spline window, select the transform, zoom to fit, select all the keyframes, press S on your keyboard. And I like to drag this last part out so it speeds up at the beginning, but it ends at the end like that. To put this animation behind you, select our bottom clip, hold in Alt and drag a copy of that on top of the fusion composition, back in your timeline, right? And then right click on the top clip and open in the fusion page. Um, open your select tool and search for mask, magic mask, and put the mode on better. And then we just want to select our subject, select the track forward and backwards. And as soon as it's done, when you play your video back, the animation should look like this. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.